the American dream demise or how we ended gangsterism in <laughs> Chinatown and became PC. <laughs> okay, um, William Hooker had asked me to write about funk and he's a drummer. Funk has its history beginning when Europeans owned slaves but not their human souls. Music that came from Africa, from the tribes of each village, transcended from the traveling barristers, the griots. You might disregard this thought, but present trend, as presented by New York City's Poet Slam founder, Bob Holman, has a griot accompanying him with his poetry since he had traveled to Timbuktu to follow <clears throat> the trails of beat poet Ted Jones while Ginsburg was discovering his sexual orientation, which might have seemed unnatural for Amore Baracus and Ted Jones' perceptions. However, Ginsburg opened a whole new identity for the gay and lesbian movement in America. As an artist, I always enjoyed music and wanted to develop my musical skills, so I became a musicologist of alternative jazz music in Lower East Side. Somehow I became a friend of the Charters family, Sam Charters and, and Charters, <coughs> by their daughter, Nora, <clears throat> many years ago, who is now studying yoga and photography. Sam and Char Sam and Ann Charters write and publishes books about the Beat Generation. As a youngster, Sam Charters became a musician playing in New Orleans bordellos, as Nora states. He also purchased numerous old recordings of American blues musicians, eventually amassing a huge and valuable val uh, collection and beginning to understand that blues and jazz were connected in the history of black music. That's Wikipedia quote. <laughs> Sam also claims that Baraka had plagiarized his book, The Blues Men, the story and the music of the men who made the blues, 1967, New York, you know, publisher. Um, publication. As told to me, after Baraka, Amore Baraka's death in January 9, 2014, Unlike Sam and Bob, who had traveled to Africa, Amore Baraka stayed home. He focused on his writings and performing with jazz musicians. However, I believe Amore Baraka broke away from the beats in, to dwell into his own poetry, drama, fiction, essays, and music criticism to satirize America's inequities. Um, Amore became the poet laureate of New Jersey until 9/11, and ultimately considered one, and ultimately considered one of the founders of the Black Arts Movement, as described in the Mer Academy of American Poets. But you know the demise. Um, what would Miles say about that? <laughs> Miles Davis. <laughs> what would it be? Come on, give it to me. You know? So what? <laughs> We're not as hip as we look. <laughs> yeah, I'm just giving you information. In the British Guardian, old bit of Sam writers, Sam written in March 20, you know, interview. Sam said, my books pretend to be scholarly analysis, but none of them are. They're all political tracts. Throughout all my books, I was atten attempting to make the black expression an alternative to the suffocating dead weight of white American culture. The Charter family has accumulated unlimited wealth by becoming music anthropologists and experts of the beat gen and not about the black history literary movement. Nora's parents now reside in Sweden, a free-loving nation, until Sam's death in 2015. 
Sam later wrote a book entitled The Roots of Blues and an African Search in 1981, where it, be, it, it becomes Sam's journal of the title. However, he could not discover its roots, and the book becomes a comical self-realization of the ugly white man in Africa. That's it. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.